Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, let me thank Chairman Black for her leadership on this remarkable budget. So when I asked my constituents in Texas about their biggest concerns for their family and the nation's future, the overwhelming response is about the debt our country faces. Washington spending just continues to grow too fast. Our national debt's top $20 trillion, and without action, our great country is poised for a difficult and painful fiscal reckoning. Today, with this budget, we have the opportunity to do something about it, the opportunity to tackle our nation's fiscal challenges head on the strong two-part approach. First, this budget provides real fiscal responsibility. It balances within 10 years. It preserves and improves Medicare for the long term. And it returns power to our state and local governments so they can do what's best for their communities, not Washington. Now, these measures get us moving in the right direction, but look, fiscal accountability is only one crucial piece of the puzzle. If we want a healthier American economy for the long term, we need a growing American economy for the long term. That's why this budget by Chairwoman Black also lays the groundwork, the runway, if you will, for once-in-a-generation pro-growth, pro-family, pro-middle-class tax reform. The House and the Senate are unified with President Trump in delivering a new tax code for a new era of American prosperity. We've released bold ideas to deliver more jobs, fairer taxes, and bigger paychecks for the American people, especially our middle-class families. And we're united in getting tax reform legislation to the president's desk this year. But if we do not pass a budget, tax reform doesn't move forward. So I'd like to ask all my colleagues today on both sides of the aisle, where do you stand? Are you content with an unsustainable national debt, a slow-growth economy, and a broken pro-Washington, pro-special interest tax code? Or do you stand in support of fiscal responsibility and pro-growth tax reform that allows all Americans to keep more of their paychecks? This is our time to show the American people we don't accept that slow-growth future. I'd like to thank Chairman Black, the Budget Committee, for her remarkable leadership in the, bringing this budget forward. I yield.